Welcome to your week in gaming with me GD, the place for the hottest news, UK charts and new releases of the week. In this week's news, Australians not getting Saints Row 4, Nintendo fans fight for region freedom and Minecon is going to the Orange State. First in the news this week, Saints Row 4 was refused classification in Australia because of an alien anal probe weapon designed to penetrate the anus of an enemy characters and civilians. The Australian Classification Board highlighted its concern in a report uncovered by IGN stating that the weapon constitutes a visual depiction of implied sexual violence that is interactive and not just justified by context. The game includes a weapon referred to by an applicant as an alien anal probe, the board said. The applicant states that this weapon can be shoved into the enemy's backside. The lower half of the weapon resembles a sword hilt and the upper part contains prong-like appendages which circle around what appears to be a large dildo which runs down the centre of the weapon. When using this weapon, the player approaches a clothed victim from behind and thrusts the weapon between the victim's legs and then lifts them off the ground before pulling a trigger which launched the victim into the air. After the probe has been afflictedly inserted into the victim's anus, the area around their buttocks becomes pixelated, highlighting that the aim of the weapon is to penetrate the victim's anus. The weapon can be used during gameplay on enemy characters or civilians. The board concludes that a weapon designed to penetrate the anus of an enemy characters and civilians constitutes a visual deflection of implied sexual violence that is interactive and not just justified by context and as such the game should be refused classification. It also draws attention to Saints Rose 4 Alien Narcotics, a drug that equips the player with superpowers which increase their in-game abilities. The response to the ban, Deep Silver confirmed that Volition will be cutting content out of the Australian version to enable a release. Next in the news this week, fans have taken to the Wii U's Miiverse message board with hundreds of artistic representations of their desire for region-free systems. Nintendo fans on the NeoGAF forums are refuting Nintendo's Year of Luigi, instead declaring this year to be the Year of Region Free Gaming. There is a concentrated effort to get the word out to Nintendo in any way they can that removing the region restrictions on the Wii U and the 3DS is something every Nintendo fan wants. The campaign's main battlefield is the Wii U's Miiverse message board, where artistically inclined fans have created graphical expressions of their desire for region-free systems. One of the key features of the PlayStation 3 was the fact that it was region-free, a big deal considering all previous consoles had been restricted to only play games from the region that they were brought in. They continued this policy with the PS4, and while Microsoft was initially planning to impose heavy DRM with its Xbox One, it reversed those decisions following intense public and critical pressure and now the console will also be completely region free. This leaves Nintendo with its Wii U and 3DS as the only one of the big three to still impose region restrictions. What is more perplexing is the predecessor of the 3DS, the DS, was region free, meaning Nintendo has actually taken a step backwards in regards to the region locks. Rampant piracy on the DS was most likely the cause of this, whereas Nintendo has done a pretty good job keeping flashcards off the 3DS so far. I don't see why it should remain the deciding factor. The campaign urges fans to have their voice heard by taking to the Miiverse, using the hashtags EndRegionLocking and hashtag NintendoRegionFree on Facebook and Twitter the contacting Nintendo representatives directly. Finally in this week's news, Mojang announced this week Minecom 2013 will take place November 2nd and 3rd in Orlando, Florida. The exact venue for the All Things Minecraft event has not been disclosed yet, though Mojang said tickets and hotel rooms will be on sale at the beginning of July. 
The year's event will be the third Minecon in as many years. The first show took place in 2011 in Las Vegas, while 2012's event was held at Disneyland Paris. So more than likely, it will be at Disney World that is located in Orlando, Florida. Past Minecons has featured keynote speeches, build contests, breakout classes concerning various Minecraft topics and costume contests. Minecraft for the PC Mac Linux recently marked sales milestone, crossing 11 million copies sold to date. We don't have to do this. You know that, right? After all we've been through. Everything that I've done. And if you want to know if your game has made the top 20 for this week, either go to yourgame.com or click on the link in the details below. Now it's time for the new releases of the week, starting with Scourge Outbreak on Xbox Live Arcade out 3rd of July. Next we have Dark on the Xbox 360 and PC out 5th of July. And finally we have Project X Zone on 3DS out 5th of July. That's it for your week in gaming for the week ending 29th of June 2013. For more daily news go to yourgame.com or follow us on Twitter or Facebook on the links in the details below. Also if you like the show click on the subscribe button and the like button below and remember to tune in next week for more of the hottest news, UK charts and new releases for the week right here on Your Week in Gaming.